happy day learners in this video we are going to solve trigonometric past paper questions and this worksheet is worth of 25 marks this is our cambridge igcse 0580 and 0607 past papers so if you are studying in cambridge 0580 or 0607 then this video will be useful for you let's start solving the problem stay tuned so th they have given a diagram and they have mentioned in that diagram the letters are showing the cities of Amman, Damascus, Tehran and Kuwait and whatever the lengths and the angles they have given that they mentioned it in the diagram they are asking us to use the sine rule in the 8 dk triangle and we need to find out the distance ak so this is the one we have to find how are we going to calculate since we have to find this we'll name that as our initial letter x and we can that directly relate it with that opposite angle so we have one pair of opposite side and angle and another pair is also there in the triangle so better we can use the sine rule and we can calculate so let me write everything and only the answer side that i can bring it to the denominator so you can see the diagram and you can get to know so if i'm writing i can write this as x by sine 82.5 is equals 180 divided by sine 8.6 and if i have to calculate x i should move everything to that same side so 180 so sine 82.5 will go that side it will multiply and the numerator whole divided by sine 8.6 i will get so the calculator gives the answer as 1193.4 and to the three significant figure i can write the answer that is 1190 kilometer right so we have solved the first one let's see what they are asking next use the cosine rule in triangle dkt to calculate the distance t dk so dk is what we have to find so dk let's write this with letter y and you should use the cosine rule so we have one i'm um, an opposite angle one four and zero seven seventy we have so let's start solve it easily because they itself have mentioned that we should use the cosine rule so they made our work a little bit easier if you have to find y so we can easily write that cosine rule relation as y square is equals so adjacent side squares so value one four one zero square plus seven seven zero square minus 2 into 1410 into 770 cos actually multiplied by cos that angle it is 58.3 since i have to find out only y that square also will come to say to this its square root so square root of answer gives me the answer as actually 1199.996 and we know when we are rounding this answer to the three significant figure we are getting 1200 so here 1200 you see here actually three plus three six marks we got it then two or three steps it's very easy so that's how actually trigonometry is the easiest chapter in the igcs actually yeah we calculated x and y let's see what next calculate the area of quadrilateral ADDK so ADDK is total quadrilateral area we have to find so it's already divided into triangles so let's find it uh, find that area of triangles and we'll add it so how are we going to do in this actually this side is just now we calculated as 1193.4 and this is 180 can we is there any possible to get this angle so that we can find the area of the triangle yes actually easily we can find it how can we find because two other angles are known 82.5 and 8.6 if we add the two and subtract from 180 that gives 88.9 so yes we have all the informations for this small adk triangle and for dkt we already have the adjacent side and then included angles so we can find that area of triangle easily it is of uh, 180 I mean this side and this side it is 1193.4 or if you have that calculate value better that itself you can use as exact answer into sine 88.9 is the area of first triangle plus for the second triangle of 1410 into 770 into sine 80 sorry 
not 80 sin 58.3 is the area of the second triangle if you add these both we will get to know what is the total area of the quadrilateral actually that we are getting the answer as 569251.00 i mean Point of 53 we are getting as answer and we are rounding this to the three significant figure actually it is here sorry it is here five six nine triple zero that is what the answer five six nine triple zero kilometer square right yeah so next we have to calculate the 80 so 80 and this is what the five marks let's see how difficult it is so we'll erase everything we have to calculate 80 so 80 how, how are we going to relate it let's erase everything if you have to calculate 80 actually we can see it here this and these two are the known values this angle is also known if you know this then by using cosine rule in this triangle we can calculate what is 80 is but uh, we don't have this small part is there any possible to get actually yes it is possible because this smaller part is opposite to 770 and we have 58.3 and then the previous value that what we found 1199.96 by using that we will get to know what is this d angle so let's name that as z here so that we can find it how can we write so sin z is whole divided by its opposite side it is 770 equals uh, sine 58.3 whole divided by its opposite side 1199.96 since i have to calculate this sine is that so sine is that is equals 770 will go that side it will multiply with the existing one so 770 into sine 58.3 whole divided by 1199.96 and if i have to calculate only z at sine will go come this side so it is sine inverse sine inverse of answer and that i am getting as 33.0 triple eight i am getting actually this itself 33 so totally what will be the angle that is actually 115.5 triple eight i am getting so that is the total angle now i can easily use the cosine rule and find what is the 80 is so it is let's name that as w because we used z already we have reached our maximum limit so now w square is equals so by using cosine rule so 180 square plus 1410 square minus 2 into 180 into 1410 into cos that what answer we found here that we can use it so better if you use answer button that will give the exact answer that is better actually um some yeah so w is square root of answer and that we are actually getting as 1496.575 and if you are rounding this value to the three significant figure we are getting 1500 as the answer 1500 kilometer actually we finished maybe it's height has some steps but it is worth for five marks yes so let's start solving the next one so the next the last subdivision is we have to calculate the value of dt on the map and the map scale values given it is 1 is to 500 uh, sorry 5 million so 1 is to 500 I mean 5 million is the map scale value then we have to calculate the map value actually since we have the real length in the diagram so easily we can calculate so the dt length is it's here 1410 kilometer so 1410 kilometer actually i have to divide it because um this is actually map and this is real from the real value to map since i'm going in the reverse order i should divide by the map scale map scale value is it is 5 million 
so 1410 divided by 5 million gives that answer actually and that will be in the kilometer because you can see here everything is in the kilometer even in the diagram they have mentioned it as 1410 kilometer so if i have to convert we know that conversion from kilometer to me centimeter is 10 power 5 i have to do so when i'm calculating this value i'm getting the answer to the three significant figure as 28.2 right yeah, this is also over let's go to the next question and this diagram looks simple small and the first question is also very easy just we have to find out the area of the triangle whereas that they gave 9 7 1 10 everything is given so 1 by 2 into 9 into 7 into sine 110 if we just put these values we are getting the answer to the three significant figure as 29.6 centimeter square it's over Next, we have to calculate the length of PC. This is the thing that we have to find. Let's take that as x. So we'll write this as x square equals 9 square plus 7 square minus 2 into 9 into 7 cos 110. So you know, right? Actually, I'm using cosine rule because three sides are there. So now obviously it is going to be cosine rule and x equal to root of answer. And I'm getting that as 13.15. 653 and to the three significant figure answer it is 13.2 so yeah, this, they are giving three marks for this let's go to the next one um it's a new diagram uh yeah they mentioned about this side length angle of the diagram that they have given a sentence at last calculate the size of the angle qrs so this is the one we have to calculate so let's take this as uh, y okay so if you have to calculate let's see what are the other informations are there in the triangle it is one pair of opposite side and angle then one angle we have if you have the opposite side then this is also going to be pair and we can use sign rule fortunately here uh, the adjacent triangle is there by using that we can calculate its hypotenuse that is what its y's opposite side so first to calculate the z value it is z square equal to 4 square plus 7 square then z equals root of 65 and i'm not going to convert that into a uh, decimal value because nowhere they have asked and also i'm going to use that as exact value for this one so how can i write this it is sine y whole divided by z actually it is root 65 is equal sine here 75 whole divided by 11 then sine y is equals sine 75 whole divided by 11 and this root 65 will come here it will multiply with the existing value since i have to find only y sine will come this side sine inverse sine inverse of answer will give that better answer for me actually it is giving 45 point zero six nine i'm getting and if i round this answer to the three significant figure i'm getting 45.1 right yeah yeah that's it actually this is over yeah yes so we have solved with a worksheet for 25 marks let's meet in the next video and if you have any comments any questions any doubts or you have suggestion for the next video everything you can put it in the comment box so it will reach me I will act accordingly and thanks for subscribing and watching my video and the channel and you can share this channel with your friends so they can get benefited thank you for watching we'll meet in the next video thank you dears